Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Heather. And we're going batty. Guess what's in this box, folks? Guess. I'll give you one guess. Uh, uh. You guessed it. Birds. Okay, so we have a bunch of stuff going on. We just got six more baby chicks that we have to get uh, uh, acclimated to their new surroundings. We're gathering information on rabbit supplies. Uh, we went to a PetSmart, which was a total waste of time. We went to Tractor Supply, and next we go to Rural King. We're going to gather up all the prices that we see, and we're going to give them to you guys. So you can, uh, if you're thinking about starting rabbits, you are going to get to know what the rabbit supplies cost. Um, because we're going to share that stuff with you. Um, you guys uh, have that have been down this road before, you get to watch us... Uh, make mistakes and keep us from making some mistakes that you guys have made and we thank you for that so rule king will be next but uh first chickadoos hi i'm jack from going batty and today i'm going to be showing you what would you don't want to use and what would you want to use while woodling something you can eat with Okay, so this is called, what I like to call compressed wood. It kind of looks like somebody took super dried oatmeal and spit it on a piece of furnish. And this is a wood that you, if you whittle like a spoon, a knife, or a fork with, that you don't want to use the fork to eat with, otherwise, because it's kind of weird. Like, this is the stuff you want to use to whittle with. It stays strong and it's actually better to um, use like as a spoon, a fork, or a knife. I'm taking my beautiful bride out. We're going to a movie, we're going to dinner, and guess what? Look in the back seat. No kids. It's just me, my bride, and Logan. Yes, we're gonna go see that movie and see what that's going on there. No, this has nothing to do with homesteading. It has everything to do with going batty. We're at the movies. Wait, wait, I have a question. <laughs> what is Look, I'm doing crunches without even having to do any effort with it. <laughs> So unfortunately, this happened last night. Our glass knob for our percolator broke. So the first thing we do in the morning is go on a search for coffee. So we saw the movie Logan last night. I was kind of disappointed. There were a lot of F-bombs and there were a lot of extra violence that just didn't need to be a good movie. And so, uh, the going baddie crew gives it a thumbs down for that stuff. Storyline stayed true to what I think X-Men is, um, at least the alternate universe. And uh, I think uh, they could have done a little better job with it, but overall it was, a, it was an intriguing storyline once you got past all of the graphic violence and the bad words. And there was a, a one piece where it was just unnecessary. So, um, yeah, we were kind of disappointed in it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Rule King today. And we're going to get all the prices for this rabbit supply stuff so we can we can plan for it, we can budget for it, because I'm trying to do this as inexpensively as possible. All right, so take a look. We're at Speedway right now. And here I am, ready to gas up. I get out. I take the gas cap off. And I'm getting ready to pay for it. No wallet. I have to go back home and get my wallet. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. We're vlogging. Hey, we're going batty. We're at Speedway again. Look what I remembered this time. So I've been set on an egg run. Here's where we get our eggs. So where do I go when I don't have any eggs for my chickens? I come to the one place I know will hook me up. 
It's this place right here. What's up, my brother? Ha! How are you, my friend? Oh, you know I'm living the dream. What what brings you to our chalet? Our chickens. No. They're not laying eggs like they should. I need to get some eggs, my say friend. It, say it ain't so, brother. Oh, it's so. Well, we'll go squeeze a few out of our birds. <laughs> All right. Look at how we're getting hooked up. This is crazy. Oh, my Love gosh, you. this is incredible. Quite crazy. I can't believe yes. All the egg-ling things that are going on. I hope you like omelets. I've been egged. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, so here we are at Rule King, and we are... <laughs> well, there's that. Um, we are checking out the rabbit supplies. So we've had a full day going batty. We've gone to Rule King, we've made cookies for Cookie Friday, and we moved the chicken hutch into the spot where we're gonna make it its permanent home. There's a couple other things that we got to do today too. So uh, one thing we're gonna finish doing is we're gonna finish taking this, chicken, uh, this rabbit hutch, uh, putting a door on it, putting a cover on it, and uh, giving it a little more uh, safety for the rabbits that we keep. Um, we think I think that we're gonna keep them outside, but we always have the option of moving them inside if it gets too nasty um, And they're not here yet. So that gives us uh, plenty of time to get it get it settled and put it where we want it to be So you guys know that at going batty we're not experts We're brand new at this homesteading thing And so a lot of the things that I build are from a layman's perspective from a new a newbies perspective and uh, we've We've made the rabbit hutch, and that's kind of a, kind of a, a makeshift, but it's all up, upcycled from material we already had. We 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 bought one thing for the rabbit hutch, and that was some some piping. It was like eight dollars. The rest we had on hand and we used. The other thing that we've been kind of living with is a chicken tractor, and I want to show that to you. So a lot of what we do here at Going Batty is. Uh, y when we build something, we build it from upcycled material. And uh, the rabbit hutch is a good example of that. I'll show that to you in a minute. But we've had this chicken tractor behind us for about uh, about six months now. And um, it's been we've been dealing with this really little door. I, I know you probably can't see it, but it's this uh, great thing right here behind me. And uh, the kids have had trouble getting in and out of it. So I wanted to show you what we did this morning to kind of remedy that. It was hard to access the chickens. It was hard to access their food, their water, their eggs. And so this we want to keep using for the little birds that are going to be graduating up into a bigger uh, bigger situation. As they grow, they need more space, and this chicken tractor is a great thing. Uh, we'll also be using this chicken tractor for the Cornish crosses that we get as we continue. So let me show you what we did. So we've had this chicken tractor for a while but we've been using this metal door right here and it's just been too small to get in and out of. So this morning, uh, I made this very large uh, makeshift door. I hold it closed with this handy dandy uh, bungee cord. A lot of the stuff we use are zip ties and bungee cords, but look at the size, look at this door. Easy access to the chickens now. Where before it was smaller access, now we have easy access to the birds that we keep in here. So this chicken tractor is actually gonna have all our babies in it. We're gonna move it to new green grass. Starting this homesteading thing has been great. There's been a lot of community around us and a lot of encouragement. There's also been a few who are critical or have said to us, why are you doing this? It's, it's easier to go buy things at the store. People around us that we see every day kind of don't understand the change that's happening in our life. Um, we like to explain it as a mindset that that we're thinking differently now. I would like to encourage you guys, if you're starting out in homesteading or you're starting out in this whole uh, homesteading arena, to use what's around you. Don't You don't necessarily have to go out and buy something that's brand new. Um, use the things that you already have and upcycle. Um, 
there'll be times when after you get more settled in you can buy the the brand new cages and the the brand new uh, chicken coop and there'll be money for all of that um, but if you're starting out and you're on a budget like we are there's nothing wrong with starting simple we don't have a lot of money for a lot of fancy cages um, the animals are well taken care of even though they might be in a makeshift coop um, be excited like we are um, that you're in it and it doesn't take that much um, to really get started it just takes a love for it um, be passionate about it be committed to it be encouraged by by the fact that there's a community at least on YouTube that's going to be cheering you on and we have felt that both on uh, our channel and we have felt that in the community around us a lot of people who uh, used to do farming has looked at me and said oh I miss that way of life a lot and I'd really like to get back to it and my words to them are hey it's not too late it doesn't take anything really to get started with some backyard chickens so I encourage you to um, to hold fast and be strong and be courageous if you're starting take that leap of faith and uh, just go for it tractor supply rural king all those places are there to support and uh, are great places to get stuff but look in your environment around you uh, look on Craigslist for free stuff uh, Craigslist is an essential tool in uh, upcycling or um, <laughs> I have a I have the gift of acquisition and it's just finding stuff that people are gonna throw away and using it if, for something that uh, that uh, could really bless somebody so uh, we're so glad to be in this journey with you hope you liked our vlog vlog today uh, look at the comments below and the information below for the pricing that we found at pet supply excuse me I'm sorry pet smart uh, tractor supply and Rural King. The prices are very similar, but there are some subtle differences. So here it is. It is an upcycled rabbit hutch. And uh, we're not done with it yet. We still have one more door to put on it. Um, and uh, we're gonna put some uh, a roof over it of some kind. But I wanted to show it to you because it's an example of the, the way that we're upcycling the things that we have around us. So I wanted to give you one more view of our garden that we haven't planted yet. Um, we put a lot of wood chips on there and we're not going to really move them. We're not going to till them in or anything. The wood chips have protected the ground underneath it. And so when we go to, uh, when we go to plant, we're just going to move the chips out of the way a little bit and plant right there. The chips will help with weed control. And so, um, we're learning even about that as gardening, uh, as the weather gets better, gardening is going to happen in this area that you see right here is going to have a ton of plants in it. So. This is kind of our opportunity to give you the before picture. And then uh, as we grow stuff, you'll get to see the after picture, which will be a lot of fun. Oh, lonely tractor. I must start you one day. Actually, this is our little workhorse. It pulls everything around here. It's a great tool for a brand new homesteader. I got lucky, I got blessed, and uh, it works most of the time. There's a few things we need to fix on it, but overall, it's working pretty good. This is one of the next projects I'd like to try is we need to get this uh, old fire pit, uh, all the broken stuff out of it and uh, so a new fire pit set up so that we can actually cook out here. So that's a project number two. It's coming probably next week. 